The Fox and the Stork Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a clever and mischievous fox named Felix. Felix was known throughout the forest for his cunning and quick thinking. One day, while wandering through the woods, he came across a graceful stork named Sophia. The stork had long legs, a slender beak, and was known for her elegance and kindness. Curiosity piqued Felix's mind, and he approached Sophia with a sly smile. Greetings, dear Sophia, he said with a twinkle in his eyes. How about we share a meal together? I would love to test your culinary skills. Sophia, always eager to make new friends, agreed happily. That sounds delightful, Felix. I'm quite skilled in preparing fine dishes. Come to my humble abode tomorrow, and we shall feast. The next day, Felix arrived at Sophia's nest, where she had prepared a delicious meal. But to Felix's surprise, the food was served in a long, narrow-necked jar. The fox was puzzled, for it seemed impossible to eat from such a container. Sophia, however, skillfully used her beak to reach into the jar and savor the delicacies. She savored every morsel, savoring the flavors and enjoying her meal to the fullest. Meanwhile, Felix looked on with growing hunger and frustration, unable to partake in the feast. Seeing the fox's dilemma, Sophia couldn't help but chuckle softly. My dear Felix, I apologize if my choice of dish has made it difficult for you to enjoy the meal. This jar is designed for my long beak, but it seems inappropriate for you. Felix, though annoyed, decided to keep his cool and not reveal his frustration. He managed a smirk and said, Ah, dear Sophia. How foolish of me to assume that everyone enjoys meals in the same way. I admit my mistake. But fret not, my friend, for I shall make it up to you. With that, Felix bid Sophia farewell and promised to invite her to his dwelling for a meal the following day. The stork graciously accepted the invitation, curious about the fox's plans. The next day, Sophia arrived at Felix's den, and to her surprise, she found two shallow dishes placed before her, a wide one filled with delicious food and a narrow, long-necked one filled with water. Felix grinned at Sophia and said, My dear friend, I have learned my lesson. Please enjoy the meal I prepared just for you. Sophia gratefully dipped her long beak into the shallow dish, easily scooping up the food and relishing every bite. And when she grew thirsty, she found the narrow-necked dish of water perfectly suited to her needs. The stork was touched by Felix's thoughtful gesture and realized that he had indeed learned from their previous encounter. She thanked the fox sincerely and said, Felix, you have shown me the importance of empathy and understanding. We are all different and have unique ways of enjoying things. Let us cherish our diversity and learn from one another. From that day forward, Felix and Sophia became the best of friends, frequently sharing meals together and embracing their differences. The fox's cleverness was balanced by the stork's wisdom, and their friendship served as a reminder to all the forest creatures that kindness, understanding, and acceptance can bridge even the widest gaps. And so, the tale of the fox and the stork spread throughout the forest, reminding everyone that true friendship can overcome any obstacle, no matter how big or small. Moral of the story, never be selfish.